In this video, I am going to show you how to make a blog. A blog is basically a journal or a weblog that is available on the web. The activity of updating a blog is blogging, and someone who keeps a blog is a blogger. Blogs are typically updated daily using software that allows people with little or no technical background to update and maintain the blog. Blogs are easy to make. You don't even have to know HTML to make your own. So how is this done? First open up your browser, and in the address bar type in www.blogger.com. Then you will come to the, the Blogger homepage. If you already have a Blogger account, just sign in with your username and password. If not, then scroll down and click on the orange arrow that says create your blog now. First you will be prompted to create an account with Google. So scroll down, fill in the information, then click continue. On the next page, you will be prompted to give your blog a title and be sure to check the availability of the blog address you want, as many names are already taken. We'll call this one, Zippy the Hippies How to Make a Web Page Blog. This is going to be the coolest blog ever. Once that is done click continue. You will then be prompted to choose a template for your blog. Although you can choose whatever template you want, I will choose my favorite color, black. After you choose your template, click continue. And if all goes well, your blog should be created. You can start posting to your blog right away by clicking on the orange arrow. And you will be taken to the create post screen, which is the simple page editor which you will use to update your blog. You will notice that there are various text boxes and tabs giving you several options to click on. First let's explore the edit post screen. Here you can create a new post, edit an existing post that you had created earlier but screwed up, and you can also moderate any comments that your fans, followers and readers left for you. And you may want to do this to prevent any spammers from using your blog for advertising. You will also notice that the edit post screen has two modes. First there is the compose mode. This is what is called the WYSIWYG or WYSIWYG editor. This mode works basically like a word processor, giving you various options to format your post, including bold, font size, alignment, a link wizard, spell check, and an image uploader. You put in the title of the post here, and down here is where you will add in the content to your blog. Then if you scroll down, you will notice another little text box for Lablays. Here you will put in any keywords related to your post. And over here are the buttons to publish the post to your blog, or save it for editing and posting later. If we go to the edit HTML mode, we see that many of the options are gone. This mode is for those of us who would rather use HTML for posting, although if you wanted to paste in any codes from other websites such as YouTube or something, here is where you would do it. I will show you an example of this now. So let's go on over to YouTube, and we'll do a search for how to make a web page. Click on the link to the video. Then over here you are given the code to embed the video into your own web page or blog. So copy that to your clipboard. Then go back to Blogger, making sure that you are in edit HTML mode. And paste it and then scroll down, and click the publish button. Then if all goes well, you should get a message saying that your blog was published successfully. So let's take a look at it now. You should notice that the video shows up in the post. Now that wasn't so hard was it? Now let's enhance our blog a little bit. So we go back to Blogger, and we'll click on the settings tab, and we come to this screen. First you should notice that there are a number of tabs for you to click on, and we'll get to those later. But first let's explore the basic settings screen. The title text box is already filled out, but if you wanted to change it, here is where you would do it. Down here is where we would add in the description of our blog. It is important to do this, because when your blog is found in a search engine, this is what will be described in the blurb that follows the link. We'll just say, learn how to make and promote your own web page here. Then when we scroll down we are given a few options, such as to add your blog to the blogger listing, allow people to email any post to their friends, and so on. Then when we scroll all the way to the bottom, we see two more buttons, the first, enables us to save our new settings, the second we'll delete the blog, and we don't want to do that, now do we? The rest of the tabs on the settings screen are a little more technical, giving you various publishing options, formatting options, options for dealing with comments that people leave for you. The site feed option allows you to let others add your blog to their news readers so that they are notified of any changes to your blog, and you may or may not want to do that. It's up to you. Now let's go on over to the template screen. This is where you can really personalize your blog. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see how your blog is laid out with different page elements. Here you can add or delete some of the elements of your blog. If we click on add a page element, another window opens up with a list of the various options we can add to our blog. Let's try adding a list of links to our blog. To demonstrate this, I'll put in the link to one of my favorite websites. So we'll put Voodoo Hoodoo in the title bar. We'll put the URL, which is http colon slash slash www.voodoohoodoo.com, right here, and the name of the website in the bottom box. And then we'll click on the Save Changes button and see what happens, and we see that my favorite website has been added into the page elements. Now let's go check out the blog to see the changes, and there it is, right there. We click on that. And what do you know, we come to my favorite website. 
And there you have it, a really cool new blog. With a little creativity, a little effort and your own personality you can have your own blog too. Thank you and goodbye.